Well, I've kept my mouth shut for a week. And I've had so many people ask me about it. I have attempted to get the judge on the radio, uh, you know, to talk about it with no luck. And so this is an issue of free speech and what's happening in our nation and traitors that are attacking our republic. So I'm going to go ahead and spell the beans right here today. Come hell or high water, putting the cards down, whatever happens because of it. I'm going to give you here the inside baseball of why Judge Andrew Napolitano, the Patriot, was fired. Now, there's really three big reasons he was fired, and I have this from inside sources, but I also was able to check this with publicly available information, or what they call public intelligence. In fact, I saw this before it happened and was actually able to predict it privately here in the office. Now, I'm working on getting the judge on. I've been on contact with him. He may come on next week, but he's not going to get into the whole Fox News thing and his show being canceled on Fox Business that was a success, by the way. But before I get into the three reasons he was fired, I want to say this. He is an amazing judicial legal mind. He is a patriot who loves America and who stands for our constitutional republic. There's nobody else like him on television. I mean, Lou Dobbs is pretty darn good. He's a patriot, but he doesn't have the legal understanding that Napolitano does. I'm a fan of Napolitano, and he's been on my show many times. And the fact that he was canned shows you that all of this censorship and all of this control that we see unfolding is the establishment's desperate response to shut down detractors that are pointing out that the emperor has no clothes, that are calling this hoax. Now, side issue, before I get into the three reasons he was fired, I mean, this is the straight scoop. This is it. You're not being given bull here, so I hope you realize this. And I'm taking a risk even bringing this out in several different ways. I'm not going to get into that, but just please pay attention. First off, though, notice that Pat Buchanan came out in Creator Syndicate in a syndicated column yesterday and said that media matters have gotten him fired along with the White House. Well, it's admitted in federal filings. The White House runs Media Matters, and George Soros funds it. They attack me on a weekly basis and conflate and distort things I'm saying and doing and you know, basically imply I'm a terrorist. They demanded and pushed for over a year that Buchanan be released from MSNBC, where he'd been for over a decade, and he's gone now. And he says they got rid of him, they got him fired with the White House. Well... If they're going after Buchanan, you better believe they went after Judge Andrew Napolitano. But I don't just have Buchanan being canned because of them. I have the inside intel from multiple sources. Quite frankly, I was told a month ago by an inside Fox person that Napolitano and others like him were going to be gone from Fox business. Now, that said, let me give you the three reasons Judge Andrew Napolitano was canned from Fox business. And he's still an analyst at Fox News itself for now. And we should support him and make sure he you know, stays there and gives a few little grains of sanity, even though they can, can control what he says by bringing up the topics when he ha only has a minute or so on Fox News. Number one, did you see last week when eight members of News Corps, eight executives in the U.K. got arrested for reportedly paying off police, spying on people? There's been uh, witnesses in the case have committed suicide. Uh, they're openly talking about Justice Department indictments of Rupert Murdoch and his son and other executives in the United States press. News Corps is blackmailed. They've been blackmailed for at least six months. That was always their business, was influence peddling, getting prime ministers in, getting presidents in. There's been books written on that. Well, now... The whole Soros crowd, the Obama crowd, they are hitting back hard. And you don't see Fox talking about Fast and Furious, the government shipping guns to Mexico to blame it on the Second Amendment. You see uh, people like Huckabee coming out and saying, Obama's a great American and loves Jesus and loves America too. It's like a Tom Petty song or something. You know, he's a good girl. You know, loves their parents in America, too. I mean, we're being told by Huckabee, who used to bash Obama all day and said he was the devil, basically, that he's a good Christian who loves America now. We've seen a 360 and then back to a 180 
Fox News is just spinning. They are completely reversing themselves and then going back. They are gyrating out of control. They are in crisis right now. And their crimes are petty compared to what Obama has done with Fast and Furious, the energy company payoffs, all the other scams, shutting down our power plants. I mean, this is real Justice Department corruption that we're seeing. So number one, we've seen a 180 in Fox in the last few months because of the political pressure that they could be indicted by the Justice Department if they don't play ball and stop covering the real crimes of the White House. That's number one. Number two, Napolitano was incredibly successful. His YouTube views, and I went and looked it up today just to make sure my memory was accurate. His YouTube views, he had more views every day on his videos online than he had on Fox Business. I mean, Fox Business only had like 200,000 viewers on average, just like other cable channel news. I mean, it was a joke. He had actually gotten good ratings compared to the other shows. So he wasn't canned for lack of performance. He was canned because videos like this one, Judge Napolitano, how to get fired in under five minutes. If you look, that video has 815,000 views down there at the bottom. And there's a bunch of other versions, over 2 million views in the last three days. But it wasn't just because he just got fired. Other videos that he put out routinely got 300, 400, 500,000 views a day, just like my videos. We're on YouTube more popular than Fox business shows. I mean, I'm shooting this right now on an iPhone so I can upload it quick on the way home from work. The system can't compete with this. So he was unceremoniously basically fired, his staff dismissed. He hasn't been told anything. He's still a pundit for now on Fox News. So Rupert Murdoch's being blackmailed. Um, we have people like Roger Ailes, who'd been told two and a half years ago that he could go after the Patriot market, the Ron Paul market, by Rupert Murdoch. That experiment was successful but failed. Again, I don't see it as a market. They call it a market. So they started him out on the Internet. That was successful with the Fox show. Then they gave him the business show. They were talking about giving him Glenn Beck's slot behind the scenes. And to Glenn Beck's credit, by the way, he was told to leave Soros alone and refused and left Fox. And I'm no fan of Glenn Beck. But you got to give him credit where it's due. He's done dirty tricks against me. But the point is, he left because of this. This is a big internal, inside baseball, New World Order fight. And lastly, Judge Napolitano was fired because a year ago, the last time he was on my show, he came on and brought up the fact that 9-11 and the official story is a fraud and that we should investigate it. Well, that's six of the 10 9-11 commissioners are on record saying they were lied to by the government and the official story was a fraud. That's what the head lawyers involved have said. I mean, go look it up. So he simply said it should be investigated. We're not being told the full truth. Again, Media Matters' George Soros called for his firing. Go look it up. They said he went on Alex Jones. Get rid of him. They wrote letters to News Corp telling Murdoch and Ailes to fire him. So, you hear what I'm telling you? Murdoch's being blackmailed to shut down any type of liberty talk that threatens the globalist takeover. He was too successful politically covering real issues and was an example of the rest of the media that they didn't like and was wildly popular on the web. And he said 9-11 is a fraud. We should investigate it. He called the fact that it's all a hoax. He's a real guy. I know him behind the scenes. And finally, Judge, go do your own radio show. Go do your own news show. It'll be much more popular. You're up there with a fancy set, 200,000 viewers a day. Your YouTube had more views than that. It's a paper tiger. It's a facade. It's an emperor's new clothes. Stop groveling at the trough of News Corps. Become your own man. You're eloquent. You're a patriot. You're smart. I admire you. There's not many of us. There's Ron Paul. There's you. There's me. There's Jesse Ventura. A few others that'll tell it like it is. Step out of Fox News's shadow. There's only a matter of time before they can you. The people support you and love you. You ought to be honored that you're not with that den of globalists anymore who just wanted to use you to attract like moths to flame some patriots to make money. And because it became successful, they fired you because George Soros didn't like it. The fact that George Soros hates you and hates me and you know pushes for me to be shut down is a badge of honor. Do it yourself the American way, Judge. Stop cowering to these guys. All right, I'm done. But now you've been given the inside scoop of why Judge Andrew Napolitano was fired.
from inside sources. Infowars.com is only here because you support it. They're trying to censor us as well. Please realize this information cannot be taken for granted. We're only here because you spread the word about what we're doing. Don't take it for granted that we're here today. We could be shut down as well. Look at SOPA, act to all of it. God bless you all. I'll see you this Sunday live on the radio, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, and back Monday, 11 a.m. in the nightly news, every night at 7 o'clock, Infowars.com. Thank you.